With the frigid temperatures, concern for the homeless population continues. In Champaign-Urbana, officials say there are just aren't enough beds to make sure everyone is out of the cold. Our Marlena Lang reports how these organizations are trying to protect those without shelter. Right now in these really cold temperatures, people are asking for beds as soon as possible and you can just hear the desperation in their voices. CU at Home has had a wait list for their shelter since they opened back in 2011. But Executive Director Melissa Courtright says that this winter and in the last few months, that wait list has grown exponentially. We have seen an increase um, in people overall coming. We have a lot of people that um, have come off the streets. We have a lot of people that are coming out of treatment centers, for example, that would otherwise be homeless. The Champaign County Continuum of Service Providers to the Homeless does a point in time count every January to get a sense for the amount of homeless and unsheltered people in the county. From 2022 to 2023, they saw a 78 person increase. The Continuum works with a number of organizations such as the City of Champaign, the City of Urbana and more with the hopes to decrease the homeless population in the county and they have a plan to do just that. Our strategic plan is really focused on kind of five key priorities increasing uh, affordable permanent housing, um, looking at our local data utilization and quality, um, equity is another area, landlord engagement, and then also lived experience representation. Harmon says with each of the five priorities, the continuum has identified specific strategies to achieve each goal, including one of the biggest barriers of homelessness, finding affordable and permanent housing. So we want to increase the permanent supportive housing vouchers for homeless households with children from 44 that we have currently to 60. And then we want to increase um, the permanent supportive housing vouchers for households without children from 67 to 80. That was Marlena Lang reporting. See you at home currently has 30 beds available and are working to bring that number up to 40. The goal is to make sure there will be enough for everyone as long as these dangerously cold temperatures last. Thanks for watching. Stick around by subscribing today and don't miss a single video.